harmony, uh, simplicity, and naturalness. Yan yung tatlong bagay na pag-uusapan natin sa video na to. Pasensya sa unang video, medyo mahaba. Dito susubukan kong may, gawing mic say, I hope you continue watching. Hello guys and welcome to uh, MJ's Basic Bonsai Vlog. At uh, topic natin ngayon, no, yung bonsai aesthetics at yung mga principles na involved doon. No? Okay, so three topics. No? Uh, harmony, simplicity, and naturalness. Pag gumagawa tayo ng bonsai, kailangan merong harmony yung bonsai natin. Dapat at least simple lang yung bonsai natin. No? Complex pero simple lang tingnan. Complex tingnan pero simple. No? Okay? And dapat natural yung bonsai natin tingnan. Okay? Because we are trying to be uh, or trying to take inspiration from nature. So dapat mukhang natural yung ating uh, bonsai. Okay, so first up is harmony. No? Uh, pag sinabing harmony sa aesthetics ng bonsai, it is connected sa, basically connected sa style ng bonsai. No? And how you train your bonsai no? para maging harmonious siya. Um, if your bonsai is an informal, uh, upright style na bonsai, dapat the structure of your tree, meaning the branches, no? uh, papunta sa twigs, no? at least uh, harmonious siya tingnan para sa style. Okay. Pag yung puno mo is kita mo naman na forma is informal upright siya, huwag mong piliting windswept or cascade kasi nga informal upright siya. Kasi no, uh, hindi siya magmumukhang natural later on. It will be forced na bonsai, no? Okay? So for an informal upright tree, basically yung first branch niya that will be the oldest branch, no? And then dapat no yung apex niya wag masyadong mataas no okay uh, stout ang itsura niya and then yung second branch niya is wag masyadong mahaba no Ma dapat mas mahaba pa rin yung first branch kaysa sa second branch yung back branch dapat nakikita kahit nasa harap ka for that no that would create a harmonious bonsai kung ganun yung gagawin mo no and then Sa ugat, no, these are, this will be included sa mga dapat iwasan na mga faults sa bonsai. Uh, kailangan may harmony sa ugat. No? Yung, yung flare ng ugat mo dapat palabas. No? As much as possible, iwasan yung ugat na diretsang tinutusok kayo. No? Dapat nasa gilid siya. No? Okay? So from the base, makikita mo na yung harmony. Sapat, importante din yun. Kung yung bonsai mo is cascading style, huwag mo ilagay sa informal upright na paso to make it harmonious. Okay? So, merong mga ganun aspeto. Sa branches, okay? If your first branch is going this way, no? Yung first branch mo is dito, papuntang right. The succeeding branches hanggang dumating ka sa sixth generation of branches, dun papunta sa right. No? may natural na movement siya no, to make it harmonious. No, hindi awkward tingnan sa bonsai na ito yung first branch siya, papunta dito, tapos kukuha ka ng sanga, ibabalik mo dito. No? Although there are cases na makikita natin an award-winning bonsai na galing sa likod yung branch niya, ginawa niya first branch or ginawa niya second branch. May may exception sa means. Okay? But, the idea is, the idea is to make it harmonious. On first branch mo dito, you direct the branches na train mo going that way. No? Second branch mo papunta dito, you train the branches to go this way. Kung back branch mo nandun, you train the branches na papunta sa likod. No? Para may harmony na titignan. No? Or na, harmony na makikita sa structure ng kahoy mo. Okay? Except of course for uh, let's say literati, okay? Eh, sabi na the highest style no, sa bonsai is literati. No, hindi siya harmonious, pero harmonious siya. <laughs> Ang gaanggulo, no? Okay? So, yun, no? That's, that's one thing with harmony. Okay? Uh, advanced na, dapat sa harmony, sa paso, no? meron din connection sa tanim. If your bonsai is a flowering bonsai, 
as much as possible you use glaze or making tap the paso no para i-complement niya yung magiging bulaklak no ng bonsai mo no? so that's another thing but medyo advanced na yan no okay uh, but the basic is sa harmony is pag arrange niya ng branches no yung mga parts niya is nasa tamang placement para maging harmonious siya no avoid using branch from this side iko-cross mo dito sa harap para may branch dito sa kabilang side that will not be harmonious kasi in nature kung dito papunta yung mga sanga yung sunlight papunta dito eh no okay or sa structure na ganito na kahoy kung dito yung araw no it will not be natural na yung kahoy mo dito pupunta para magsik lang siya ng sunlight no dito siya lalabas na side Okay, yung sa right side siya, right side siya. And that will make it harmonious. Okay? <clears throat> Next is simplicity. Okay? Uh, very difficult to explain. How can you say na simple ang isang bagay kung napakatagal ginawa? Okay? Uh, but for a bonsai to be simplistic, no? Meron kasi basic bonsai layout. No? Yung structure. At yung basic bonsai layout, is first, merong first branch yung bonsai mo. Dapat yung first branch na yan is the oldest branch. Dapat yung yung branch na yan, the first branch, yan yung pinakamatandang sanga because it is the first branch. Mas nauna siya tumubo, mas marami siya karakter. No? And then dapat nakaabot talaga ng sixth generation yung twigs niyan no? to make it really old no? and natural. No? That's the first branch. No? para maging maging simple and then you have the second branch kung dito yung first branch mo sa right yung second branch mo is nasa left no and then you have the back branch sa likod no and then you have the structure dito sa taas which will become the apex okay so yun lang apat na sana no to make it simple first branch back branch second branch and apex Kung gagawa ng bonsai, yun lang yung first, yun yung, to make it no, simple, yun lang yung trabaho niyo. It becomes complicated pag tumatrabaho kayo ng Yamadori. No? Now, um, <clears throat> nauuso kasi ng Yamadori, no? And minsan, ang daming na, mahirap, no? Personal experience ko, mahirap ko nasa basic ka, and then mag-proceed ka sa Yamadori. May rule kasi sa Yamadori na kung ano yung available, yun na yun, wag mo nang galawin, wag mo nang putulin. You know? Okay, but to make it simple, pronounce dapat na kahit Yamadori siya, identified kung saan yung first branch niya, identified saan yung back branch niya, identified kung saan yung second branch niya, identified yung saan yung apex niya. Okay? That's the simple structure ng uh, bonsai, no? Okay? Kasi, to make it simple kasi, we should not complicate the bonsai style. Okay? Pag nakatanggap kayo ng material na binili nyo uh, online, and then the style, nakita nyo na nga sa picture, yung style pag picture ng seller is informal upright. Pagdating sa bahay, huwag nyo i-cascade. Okay? Kung informal upright siya, huwag nyo i-raft kasi gusto nyo lang magkaroon ng raft style or cascade style kasi gusto nyo magkaroon ng cascading style. Based on my experience, pag mali yung ginawa mong style na bonsai, sa una pa lang, hindi siya appropriate, mahihirapan kang buuhin yung bonsai na yan. Okay? To make it simple, kung may material ka, dapat appropriate yung style na gagamitin mo sa material mo na bonsai. And to make it simple, dapat basic lang yung structure. No? At least basic yung structure na uh, bonsai mo. You have the first branch, you have the back branch, you have the second branch, and then the apex. No? So, titignan nyo kasi, oh, this is just one branch, two, three, and four. Apat lang yan. No? And then, out of that, nag-train ako ng generation ng sanga. Out of that, dinagdagan another generation, and then nabuo siya dito. Pero yung simple yung structure niya, Yung 1, 2, 3 na tinatawag nila. No, yung first branch, back branch, second branch, and apex. Andyan. No. 
that's the simple uh, way to do bonsai. Uh, dapat hindi komplikado lang yung gagawin mo. No? Um, well, if you want to express yourself, wala na problema, no? Okay, it's, it's, it's okay to express yourself. Pero my suggestion, guys, um, if especially pag nagsisimula kayo sa bonsai, kaya nag effort tayo na nag-share ng basic uh, bonsai lessons dito, no? Kasi para sa mga newbie, um, it will be difficult for you to do advanced bonsai when you're just starting. No, you stick with the simple styles. You stick with the basics. Pag nakagawa na kayo using basic principles in bonsai, then dahan-dahan nyo nang maliliberate yung self ninyo para gumawa ng style na kakaiba. No? Okay? Huwag tayong didiretsyo na kakastart pa lang nating bonsai. We want to be unique na kaagad. And for us to be unique, uh, gusto natin gumawa ng kakaibang forma ng bonsai. Well, of course, that is your choice, no? Sa inyo yan. But it will be very difficult to sustain later on. No? Kung gusto nyo lang, purpose nyo lang mag-bonsai is para maging kakaiba, uh, ma mahirap i-sustain yun. Okay? So, you try to make your bonsai simple by following simple steps in doing bonsai. Okay? That is for simplicity. And that part yung sitsura ng kaawin nyo, si pag, ito, twin trunk siya, Originally, rough style to. Pag sinabing twin trunk, okay, paano siya naging twin trunk? Dalawa yung trunk dito. Okay. Paano siya naging rough? O paano siya naging, ano? O informal upright siya, paano siya naging informal upright? Diretsong masasagot yung tanong. Okay? Bakit ka nagpasanga dito? Okay. Bakit ganito kakapal yung sanga dito? Diretso siyang masasagot. No? Pag may mga tanong na ganun. And that will make your bonsai simple. And that will make your life as a bonsai artist simple. Okay? So, basic na layout lang. Do not complicate no? your approach in bonsai. Again, please remember, yung style ng bonsai, dapat appropriate no? sa gagawin mo, itsura ng bonsai. Okay? Ulitin ko, dapat yung style ng bonsai, ng material na meron ka, dapat appropriate dun sa tatrabahuin mo mga branches later on. Okay? Kasi pag hindi, uh, magiging komplikado. No? And usually, pag nagiging komplikado na siya, hindi na siya natural tingnan. And then, we defeat the purpose of doing bonsai inspired by nature. Okay? So, last is naturalness. Okay? To achieve naturalness in a tree is very difficult kasi yung bonsai, ginagalaw natin, nilalagyan natin ng wire, uh, tinitrain natin siya, ginagawa natin ng movement yung sanga. So the question is how to achieve naturalness in bonsai? Well, first factor, dapat age. Your goal is to make your bonsai look old. Okay? There are techniques on that. No? Uh, sa pag-wire, kailan mo ba tatanggalin yung wire pag tinitraining mo? Hopefully, mapakita natin yun sa video natin sa mga susunod na mga araw. And then, dapat to make it natural, uh, walang human intervention. Of course, meron, kasi nga ikaw ang nag-train, pero your goal is eventually mawawala dito sa bonsai mo yung human intervention or yung, yung paggalaw mo at pag-train mo sa kaway. Pag nawala yun, no? that will make your tree natural. For example, yung mga wire marks, no? Okay? Hindi siya natural tingnan kung yung kahoy mo may wire marks pa, no? So, your goal is dapat eventually uh, mawala mo yung wire marks sa mga branches. No? Pag mawala yun, that will make your tree natural. Okay? So, what else? How to make your how to achieve naturalness? Ah, uh, yun lang talaga. Yung, yung one factor lang talaga yung age. No? Yung gawin mong matanda yung kahoy mo. Uh, to make it matanda, mayroong branches na factor. Dapat yung matandang kahoy aabot ng 5 to 6 generation. Okay? That will make it natural. No? Bago siya nagdahon. No? After 6 generation, doon na yung dahon. Okay? That will be one factor para maging natural yung bonsai mo. Sa paso, Pwede rin. Although ngayon kasi uh, maraming expression, expression, expression na kasi. No? 
uh, sa paso kasi dapat yung to make it natural yung paso na gagamitin mo is appropriate for the style ng bonsai mo pag cascading malalim na paso for cascading okay pag formal upright thin na paso pag literati malipis na paso bilog ba na paso ang gagamitin rectangular those are aspects na makakatulong para maging natural tingnan yung bonsai mo okay of course later on pwede rin maglagay ng moss dito para medyo natural tingnan sa environment no those are things na pwedeng gawin to make your tree look natural okay so yun no but uh, these topics are very difficult to explain no makikita niyo man ako nauutal no because uh, these six things na napag-usapan na, there are other things na no? nalimit lang natin sa anim uh, you have to apply na this kasi no? kailangan mong i-apply ito para ma-achieve so for me to explain it ng maayos I have to tell the story of how ko ginawa ito bakit ko ginawa ito to look natural or to make it as a bonsai no para ma-attain natin yung mga aesthetic principles na sinasabi at pinag-uusapan natin. And that would take time. And haba yung video at kawawa kayo. Okay? So just remember those 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 six things na goal ninyo no sa paggawa ng magandang bonsai, no? Para ma-consider niyo na aesthetically pleasing yung inyong bonsai, no? Uh, first, no, just a review uh, para sa bonsai aesthetics, no? Kailangan yung asymmetry that concerns the shape of the canopy and the tree as a whole na yung bonsai. And then you have the balance, no? yung pagposition mo ng kahoy, yung pagposition mo ng sanga, no? It, that involves balance in bonsai. Proportion, yung laki ng mga sanga mo in relation to your trunk, yung laki ng pasok mo, yung taas ng bonsai mo in relation to the style ng bonsai na meron ka. Those are part of proportion, no? And then, uh, what else? Harmony, no? Kung ano yung itsura ng tarim mo, no? When you present it, no? Based on the style, based on the arrangement of the branches, no? And then, what else? Uh, simplicity, no? Yung simplicity and naturalness, no? They are interconnected, no? You want to make it simple, you want to make it, uh, your bonsai to look like a tree, so dapat simple lang yung structure mo, no? And then madali siyang intindihin, no? Hindi siya masyadong complex and then pero complex siya, pero hindi siya masyadong complex. And then it has to look natural. <clears throat> okay? So dapat matanda yung ideal na tree, dapat walang mga wire marks, no? Walang mga ganun. Okay? So magkakasunod-sunod kasi yung mga topics natin at magkakadugtong-dugtong no para sa bonsai aesthetics na to no? sa principles na ito, aesthetics meron kasing mga faults na dapat hindi gawin sa bonsai and we will discuss that on the next video okay i'm sorry medyo humaba but if you're listening and medyo nagbubulhan you try to comment you try to ask sa baba no kasi again i'm i said it kanina to understand this kailangan ni apply no and eventually sa mga videos natin sa susunod na mga araw at buwan pag naggagawa or gumagawa na tayo ng bonsai ma-apply natin itong mga principles na to and then mas maiintindihan pa natin ginawa lang natin to para meron tayong guide okay so salamat sa panonood sorry medyo umaba kung nanonood kayo hanggang ngayon ay nanonood pa rin kayo shout out sa baba okay please sabihin nyo lang na natapos nyo and uh, gusto kong magpasalamat sa mga taong nanonood na tinatapos yung video kahit medyo magulo no? I'm still learning no? gaya ninyo okay so yun lang no? but uh, in the process of learning guys remember sa paggawa ng bonsai enjoy your bonsai journey one bonsai at a time salamat